we are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. Isn't it obvious? She wanted to shut Falcone up for good. I mean, this whole damn force is riddled with corruption. Someone must have got to her, Jim. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. veins, still visible beneath her skin. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. Like you were hypnotized? Under some mind control? Not mind control, more like my impulse control was gone. My anger was the only thing that mattered. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. 
Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. You know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I have no comment at this time. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Either Cobblepod drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Bring me her head! 
for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Check out this office. Where is I don't know! Please! Oh, my name's Lady. You can help me. <laughs> Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime, boss! You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. And did it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. There we go! That wasn't so hard to admit, was it? Must be a relief to get that stick out of your arse every now and then. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes, a oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> down Selina Kyle. I'll find her right away. Hey, 
for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. Did you hear? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it! The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. You've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together. After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, she's with me. I think you need to leave.
They want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! Quick, check the alleyway! Check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Move. We, we, we should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? 
Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. Oh, well, I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? Please, I have no animosity towards you. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us. If that's true, maybe I can make it right. Noble, but naive. It was so long ago, there's nothing left of the Cobblepot estate. Maybe if I could count on you as an ally, I could use the powers of my office to help you make reparations. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up. I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. I would never stoop so low. My backbone doesn't have the bend. Let me put it this way. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. 
just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To hear their crimes detailed, first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blow. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our... Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember, you are always my friend. Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. We're all on the same side, Jim. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like, you scratch my back, 
I cut some people up. This is no bar fight. They're coming with everything they have. Good. That brawl barely had me break a sweat. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of... sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out of here. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, Thank you wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Sounds fun. And we'll see. Coitos! Heads goes first. Heads. Questions. Asking questions. Line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My Delta brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We 
are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption and ruin your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! that moderator gets shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the board. Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we were friends. Our boys played together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Now you know. Now you will see. Thomas Wayne! That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it! That won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. How about you kill anyone else? Wait your turn, Dent! <laughs> Your mate, Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already starting! It's too late to join! 
Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started! <laughs> City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant. He's lucky. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Did you see her? Well, we'll look for the blood. There! <laughs> Come on, she kind of got far. representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. <laughs> 